Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This set from CAT 2020 slot 1 DILR says that in a certain board examination, students were to appear for five subjects, English, Hindi, Mathematics, Science and Social Science. Due to an emergency, some of the examinations could not be conducted. Hence, some students missed one examination, some students missed two examinations. Nobody missed more than two examinations. So either person will miss one exam or two exams. The board adopted the following policy for awarding marks to students. If a student appeared in all five examinations, then the marks were awarded in each of the examinations were based on the scores they obtained in those exams. Now, the students are not appearing in all the examinations, right? So, uh, there will be people who are missing the exams. It says that if a student missed two examinations, uh, if a student missed only one examination, the marks awarded in that examination were average of the best three scores from the four examinations. So, if you miss one exam, you get average of the best three of the remaining four. If a student missed two exams, then the marks awarded in each of these examinations were the average of the best two among the remaining three. Okay. So, if you miss two exams, let's say uh, there are three, five exams A, B, C, D, E and uh, let's say you miss B and D. So, they will consider the best of two out of A, C and E. Now, the marks obtained by six students in the examination are given in the table below. Each of them missed either one or two examinations. So, a person will miss either one exam or two exams. Now, based on this uh, table and the facts, we need to find out which person missed which exam. So, first says four of the students appeared in each of English, Hindi, Science and Social Science. There are six students A, B, C, D, E, F and four are appearing in English, Hindi, Science and Social Science. So, two people will miss English, two people will miss Hindi, two people will miss Science and two people will miss Social Science. These are the people who miss these exams. Then it says the student who missed the mathematics examination did not miss any other examination. So, that means the student, right? That means it refers to one of the students. One student has missed the mathematics examination. Now, if you count, there are total of nine exams missed. And a person can miss one or two exams. So, three people will miss one examination. And three people will miss two examinations. So, one of the questions was also this that how many people missed exactly one examination. So, that was one of the questions that could have been derived without even solving the set. So, nine exams missed 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 2. Now, we need to find out who missed which examination. Then, one more statement says one of the students who missed the Hindi examination did not miss any other exam. And the student who missed other age student who missed the Hindi examination also missed the science exam. Okay, so that we will keep in mind and solve later. Now, let us understand the first student and then we will subsequently understand other students also and figure out which examination they missed. Now, Alva can miss one or two exams. We do not know. It can be one or two. Now, how one or two? If she misses two exams, okay. It is easy to find that which two examinations he missed because if a student misses two exams, means both will have same score. It is compulsory that two exams will have same scores. Right? Now, if you see Hindi and science, now let, let us verify does she miss these two. So, if she misses Hindi and science, the average will be 80 plus 70 by 2, 75. So, it is possible, right? Now, is it possible to have one exam missed? Okay. So, if a person misses one examination, is it possible to miss only one examination? Let us say the person misses uh, the one of these examinations. Let us say just Hindi exam. Okay. Now, if the person misses only Hindi examination, Right, what will happen? The top three scores are 
80, 70, 75, right? So what is the average of 80, 70, 75? The average is still 75 only, right? So one miss, like two misses, we are sure that both same close, but one miss cannot be identified because if a person misses only Hindi or let us say a person misses only science examination, right? So score of best three is average is 75. So we cannot determine which examination, whether the person missed one or two examination. So let us put on hold and mark the values that could possibly be the missed ones. Okay. Now coming to the next person, we see 85 and 85, right? One possibility is missing both the exams. So if you miss both the exams, the average will be 90, 80, 85. Okay. Suppose you miss only one exam. Suppose the person missed science. The average will be top 3, average will still be 85. So we cannot tell whether the person missed 1 or 2 exams. So we will just underline the values that could possibly be missed by the students. Okay. Now coming to Carl. Carl has, suppose Carl misses one, 2 exams, right? So the person will have 90 marks here and average is 90. Like, so fine. If two exams are missed, if three exams are missed, then average is 90. So again, we can't say that which exam they missed. So we will underline the possibilities. Next person, if we say like these two values are same. Okay. So these two values are same. If a person misses two exams, the average will be 90. If the person misses three exams, the average is still 90. So this 90 could be the missed examination. Okay. Now coming to Isha. Now we find one interesting thing. In Isha, all marks are different, right? No two are same. So that means she will definitely miss only one examination. Now which examination will she miss? Let us find out. So the missed value is average of three, top three. Okay, so that means it should be between the uh, top, uh, like, see, there is, let us say, first value, second value, third value, fourth value, four values are there. So, average is always between the numbers, right? So, definitely, she did not miss nine, six. See, average is between highest and lowest number. If the numbers are different, average is between highest and lowest. Average comes in between. So, either she missed one out of these two exams. So, suppose let us take this as uh, like suppose she appeared on 80 marks exam. So, her total comes out to be 95, 60, 80. That is 235, right? Average is not 85. Suppose she misses 85, then her total is 240, which matches that her missed examination is 80. So, she misses only English exam. So this is the only person for which whom we determine that which examination they missed. Now let us talk about phony. Okay. So phony, if you look, there are two repeating values. So again, we could not determine that which examination she missed because in all the other logics we have used this. Thing. Now using the information given over here, we will be able to find out who missed which examination. There is one person who missed mathematics examination. So, Carl could be the only person, right? There is a question also who in the following did not appear for the mathematics examination. Now, it is given that the student who missed the mathematics exam did not miss any other exam. So, Carl is not missing social science, okay? So, Carl is certain. Now, two people are missing social science. These are the two people who will miss social science. Two people are missing English. These are the two people who will miss English exam. Okay. Two people are missing Hindi examination. So we will get two people missing Hindi examination. Right. Now we are left with science. Three possibilities. We have to choose two out of them. How do we choose them? The last statement says one of the students who missed the Hindi examination did not miss any other examination. The other student who missed the Hindi examination also missed the science examination. So these are the two people who are missing Hindi examination. One of them will miss science. 
and one of them will not miss anything. So there will be one person only H and one person will be H plus signs. Okay. So this means only one out of these people would miss the examination because one of them will be only H, one of them will be Hindi plus signs. This gives us that B3 will miss the science exam because we can have only one out of these two and uh, the other has to be B3. So, this gives us the list of people. So, we cannot determine for Alva and Deep whether they will miss the science examination. The rest of the subjects can be determined. Let us now look at the questions. So, here I have marked red are definite ones and blue are maybe. Okay, so this is one out of these is possible. That's what we discussed, and these are the other examinations that are missed. Which students did not appear for the English exam? So we have Isha and Phony not appearing for English exam. What best can be concluded about the students who did not appear for the Hindi exam? So in Hindi we have Alva and Deep. What best can be concluded about the students who missed the science exam? So science exam, Vithi is certain and one out of Alva and Deep. So Vithi and one out of Alva and Deep. How many of these six students missed exactly one examination? So this I said before also that this was an easy question. Could have been solved like if you stuck midway and uh, have gained, could have gained three marks in the exam. For how many students can we def can we be definite about which examinations they missed? So we can tell about Bithi, we can tell about Karl, we can tell about Isha and Phony. So except Alva and Deep, we can determine about the remaining four students. So this was the solution to the set and the answers to the questions.